how are you? Tonight I thought I'd do something fun because I actually got a new um, Mystical Shaman Oracle deck that came in the mail and I was going to unwrap it. But first I want to do a fun thing with the Spirit Animal Oracle. And what are the possibilities that maybe yours out are? Now how we can get in touch with them and connect with them and make contact is very simple. It always helps if you're in nature, if you have a you know, space in your yard that's undiluted by trains and planes and huge distractions or anything like that. A park, by the ocean, by a lake, anything that's nature and you simply close your eyes and you meditate on it and, and a, for, a form will gather in your head. And most people already instinctively know it's a lot of times the animal they're most drawn to in nature, you know what I mean? Deer, fox, a lot of people have wolf spirit. Um, and I love the some of the um, the uh, beautiful things that go with it. You know what I mean? The um, what it means about certain personalities when they have that. They're totem animals. It's it's funny if some of the characteristics can even match. I remember when the um, Chinese zodiac came out. I was all excited about. Um, learning and then I was like a rooster and I was like what and then it made a lot of sense it's like roosters like to sort of strut around and and dress nicely and look good and they're confident and a lot of the characteristics were very similar you know so for people like that like the hawk they're perceptive yet a little skeptical the bear they have courage integrity and compassion monkeys are able to see things that are hidden tigers have strength and willpower ravens are explorers of the unknown mysteries Crows are analytical, adoptable, clever, sorry, adaptable, adoptable. Elephants, I love elephants so much. They have the power to remove all obstacles. Okay, so here's Tara Cat because anytime she hears spirit animal, she's my spirit animal. And I was telling um, one of my private stay while I was reading, she came in and literally just sprawled across the entire floor. It was so bizarre. I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, I want to be in the show. But also we have to be careful with her with wires because she's absurd. So we'll do, we'll make this a pick a card and we'll do two possibilities. Oh, she's going for the wire. Oh no, no. My husband always pretends he's going to spray with a water bottle and she runs away. She's like, eh. she doesn't like that. If I pick it up though, here's something that's funny. She doesn't even bat an eyelash. She just sits there and looks at me like, Oh, you're going to fill my water dish? Isn't it funny how they're um, trained to know who's actually going to do some crazy shit on them? <laughs> and it's like, I will spray you. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, and I want to show you guys these. I'm probably unveil them at the end if you guys want to stay and watch and we'll have a look at them because I want to use them in the next read. Anything by Cola Baron Reed is insane. Her artists that she gets and just the, um, these are the, these are Cola Baron Reeds too, the ones we're using, but she gets, um, just the color schemes look at all these i'm excited for you guys to see them but look at this i wish this is my spirit animal dressed just like that because i want some cool feathers going on i think she got sparkles and freaking christmas lights and marshmallows and all kinds of good stuff up in there this spirit animal is the bomb her name's probably i know her name it's pearl bing bing look at that pearl bing bing mystical okay you guys so let's see what can we I don't, oh, I don't have any of my regular gems just floating around, so we'll use rings, okay, and I'll hold them up. The first one is turquoise, which is funny. Native Americans absolutely love, um, they love turquoise, and it's very protective, and it's very, um, I just, I love it. It's very earthy and protective, so number one will be turquoise, okay. There's a lot of people that are drawn to turquoise. It's funny, Ian showed me this. We have a new camera and there's like all these new dots and then garnet. I love this ring because it looks so like Elizabethan. I don't know why that's not focusing. I think I have to stay still. All right, I'm not going to go nuts over that. And then citrine. This is my birthstone. So those. So we'll go one, two, three. So what are your possible totem animals? Or your spirit animals and I'm gonna read them from the book because they are so unbelievably beautiful 
what's written in these books. That's another reason I'll always be a fan. Her stuff is so well done, but she obviously employs or has a deep connection to animals and, um, you know, their beauty in our world. Because when I read the, the, the um, explanations, I, I was so moved. Okay, so let's go to number one which is the turquoise. Let me just try that one more time because that bothers me that, because I don't want to hold up the cards if that doesn't work. Maybe Ian can try to focus. Okay, there we go, I was going too close. Okay, yep, because I want you to get a good gander of the cards. Okay. A canary spirit, sing your own song. That's beautiful, and look at the crown. I love that. Is he on a shower curtain or a flute? Oh, he's on a flute. I'm like, he's on a shower curtain. So let's see what that's. Definitely a possibility. And I always like to take a little from each. You know what I mean? I find I'm extremely attracted to, and if there's one animal that I could see every day and I would feel fulfilled and the happiest band leader in the world would be an elephant. They're so majestic. They, um, they're just amazing how they also revere their dead and they come back and they make like prayer circles around them. Um, the females are the leaders and they guide everybody to the watering holes and it's, it's just they're amazing and beautiful, right? Okay, so the canary spirit says, sing your own song. The oracle message is canary spirit arrives to help you find your authentic voice and express what is in your heart. Free yourself and and experience your inner light and let it shine as canary spirit sings to remind you of the inherent joy and to support you as you sing your own song now it is time to let the world know who you really are canary spirit message is that you are free to be yourself and express your most cherished desires the world wants to hear your song if your inquiry is about a relationship you're being called to fully be yourself for only then will you find harmony and joy you can make music with others so beautifully when this note rings true. And we've discussed that too, right? That once you're authentic, you don't have anything to hide because you haven't made up any um, bravado or any stories about you, right? You're just your core authentic self. Now the protection method, um, message method, method, that sounds like some kind of sex tip. Okay. Are you, so yeah, there's two, two parts. That's sort of the essence of it. And then you get a protection me uh, message also from your animal spirit guide and i do believe animals have rescued me from from stuff that they, i've had to slow down because geese have been in the road and then some crazy maniac is going on the wrong side of the park road and had to slow down because all these geese there's all kinds of very close calls i've had where animals have played a part in um stopping that okay so i'm going to sneeze in one second i can hardly tell the protection message with this is are you suppressing your true voice perhaps trying to sing the song you think people want to hear instead of your own you create a cage around your life when you express only what you think will help you fit in and what you think you want are you hiding the real you telling a safe story about yourself and others because you are afraid they will think you are too different if they knew the truth what would happen? Canary spirits come to help you express yourself in a more honest and authentic way. Yes, not everyone will agree with you. In fact, not everyone will want to hear your originality and accept your uniqueness. You must not give this a single care. There will be plenty of people, opportunities, and wonderful new experiences that arrive as if by magic once you open your own cage door and fly free. Canary spirit is cheering you on. It wants you to know that you are safe and loved. Find your voice and have courage to spread your wings and sing out loud. The world needs your true song. That's beautiful. Isn't that so beautiful? Love that. Okay, and here's your secondary. Here's another possibility for you guys. This is me. This is me with my girl. Claim your independence. Look at this cat. She's like, I'm sorry, I'm not only a cat, but I have gold wings, some groovy head joy. Look, here she comes, here she comes. Who's the cat spirit? Who's the cat spirit? Here she comes. She's going to come sit on everything. Just do. It's okay, as long as she doesn't mess with the wires. Do you want to say hello to the cat spirit? Because you're my cat spirit. Look at how beautiful. She's like, um, I don't recall having really groovy head jewelry and all. I've really got to learn where the focus is on this. I guess right here, yeah. Look at the color, so rich. So let's see what the book has to say about that. Look, it's so vibrant. She has, a, the, like I love the, um, just the backs of these as well. It's like she'll have mandalas and she'll have just beautiful prints on top of prints that are so 
gorgeous. Love them. I love her art. I love the artistry in her cards. That's why I got so excited to design Oracle cards when I first started looking at them. I couldn't believe them, the gorgeousness of them. So claim your independence. The Oracle's message is when Cat Spirit meows, she is calling you to claim your independence and allow for some space between you and others in your life. The only way you can grow in all your relationships now is to have a healthy sense of self-respect and self-worth. When you walk with dignity, knowing who you are, self-aware and willing to grow, trusting the value you bring, the world will mirror back to you in kind. It's very super true. When you say no to codependency and enmeshment, live and let live and practice taking risks as you wander into new territory for you, cat spirit rejoices. She's here to urge you to let your independent spirit form free. That's true. You ever just been with a group and they're, it just seems lame. Their choices seem lame. Their diatribe seems lame. Their behavior seems small. Let them know. You don't have to be obnoxious about it. But I've worked with people where I just said, you know, if your children could see right now, would they be proud of you? Just stuff like that, especially if it's mean-spirited or ganging up on one person. When I went to school, there was this poor girl, Michelle, and well, she'd come sit with us. And, you know, I, I was new, and I don't know why, but the the rather popular girls flocked to me. And they weren't They weren't bad people or obnoxious in the beginning. But then I would watch what they do to this one girl who'd come and sit and she was a very good friend with one of the other ones before she came popular. And she became the meanest one to her and they were all terrible. And I remember once just saying, Michelle, let's get up and leave. And I was like, I'm, I'm never going to sit with you or be around you when you act like this. You look disgusting and you should be ashamed. If your parents could see, what would they think? And everybody just shut up. But it was horrifying. I mean, they were saying the meanest things to her. And I remember she had a dog and they're like, the only one that would even look at you and talk to you is your dog. And I, I didn't know where this came from. It was simply because she bought some stupid sandwich that they didn't think was cool or something. But I couldn't believe how these people acted. And uh, yeah, you have to be, call people out, walk your true line of love and authenticity too. We all have, you know, we all have our ways about us. And like the other card says too, not everyone's going to love it, right? Some people I know love my company when, um, especially if I'm in really um, fine fettle and I'm really chatty and complimentary and having fun, but only if I'm just with them. Because what I've seen is if um, men come around and they're trying to impress the men, they don't want anyone to take the spotlight and they actually become bitchy. It's very weird. People will love it when you're completely all about them, but then when they have to share any kind of um, time or attention with others, they might not be so pleasant. So really watch that as well. Because they I love that. So that's you guys as number one with your kitty cat. Look, it's so funny because the, the cat who ate the canary, right? How funny is that? You can be both. You can be the cat and you can eat the canary. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, so number two, the garnets. I'm, I'm dying to figure out why. This is so beautiful. This is, looks like an ancient um, druidic ring or something. It's so beautiful. Okay. Oh, the butterfly. Oh, this must be for Stephanie. She told me today that... Um, <laughs> she saw butterflies and I told her she'd be seeing more. So she was so excited. She thought she killed them and ran them all over and they hit the car. So she was like all mortified. Let's see what it has to say. Transformation is beautiful. And I do believe right now she is going through a transformation. She's starting to understand, you know, hell, she, everybody is unique as they are and they can do, go and accomplish anything they want. 100%. You know what I mean? There's no restrictions. The only restrictions are our own minds that, you know, we think, oh, that, that something could be an impossibility. Why would it be an impossibility? Why? We don't need to put limitations. So the butterfly spirit says transformation is beautiful. The Oracle message is joy and the beautiful lightness of being alive and creative in the world is a focus when butterfly spirit flutters before you transformation is inevitable as you grow into your most beautiful empowered self oh i love that indeed you will go through some uncomfortable stages as you let go of the forms of your life that no longer fit the new you even relationships must go through shifts for your new emerging self, if you focus on the beauty and not the challenges, stop taking yourself too seriously and choose to be playful, loving, and joyous, you will soon know the miracle your soul wants to experience right through you. Today is a day for joy. So alight. Look around and see the beauty in everything and everyone, including you. 
That's lovely. Now the protection messages, transformation does not have to be traumatic or dramatic, as things may seem to be right now. Remember, change is the only true constant. When you resist it, you create a tension within you as you refuse to accept the inevitable. In this moment, you might have forgotten the beauty and joy of life as it moves through the seasons, as nature dictates it has to. You're being faced with a choice now. You can struggle with the current situation, refusing to surrender and see through the lens of lack and loss, or you can surrender to the grace that is calling you to allow life to take its course. Moving through the sadness and disappointment, surrender will soften you, inviting you to bask in the gratitude and see the lens of curiosity. These are the keys to tuning into the infinite potential available to you now. Butterfly spirit knows the beauty and the delight that you are on the brink of discovering let go and trust that is what is there for you that's beautiful and that's so true that's something we always discuss right looking through the right lens the perspective right if we look through a myopic small-minded lens we tend to do the same things over and over and fear what's out there if we look through it through um love light and gratitude we know that more always comes and we always not only have enough but we have an abundance of very beautiful, amazing things. Like funnily enough, I had to take a nap before because of my crazy sleep cycle. And when I woke up, Ian came in and he had all these packages and he goes, oh, is it Christmas? And then um, my mystical shaman oracle cards were here um, with some other stones. And I just got so happy. And it was like just such a nice boost, right? To have these little surprises in life or somebody brings you a nice cup of coffee, like he brought me a coffee all those things just watch out because your your luck will expand your hope your your gratitude it just starts with gratitude with going wow i have more than what i need how lucky am i that i can have all these things you know what i mean and then the universe here's some more here's some more you're deserving of it you seem to um be happy and grateful for it so we'd like you to have more <gasps> Buffalo. I'm really attracted to buffaloes too. They're pretty cool, right? Hello, you're my buffalo spirit. What I gotta think I get it in this circle. Okay, is the abundant universe will provide. Again, we were just talking about that, right? The abundant universe. It is simply energy bringing you good energy, right? And it's going, oh wow, look at that. Kristen and Mary are being so cheerful about just being able to have a car today. Let's show them some abundance in a form of a little windfall of money so they can get some gasoline. Please don't eat that ring. <laughs> My, her spirit guy is going to be a human that gives her the cat Heimlich. We silly baby. Lay down in good girl world. Lay down in big girl world. She is very attracted to these cards. When I did a read for someone today, she just sprawled all over them. I think she knows there are animals there and she's sitting on the cat spirit, which is hilarious. She is. Watch when she gets up. It's a cat spirit card, which is funny. Okay, so let's see what Buffalo spirit has to say in number 10. What are you up to in your big girl one, your big girl ways? I love, isn't the writing beautiful in this? And isn't it so true to life? It's not hippy dippy or so out there that it's simply human behavior and um, how we connect with each other and how we connect with our spirit and how we behave. And it helps us as humans to just be happy and light and not take ourselves so seriously, right? And also about butterflies. Yeah, when we emerge, it doesn't have to be, when we change and emerge from our old ways, it doesn't have to be painful. We have to create a space for the new right we can't hang on to everything we've ever purchased or or ever bought we wouldn't have room in our states our countries right so let's see what the buffalo spirit has the abundant universe will provide yeah we were just talking about that okay so the message is the buffalo spirit comes to you now to remind you of the amazing manifesting power of gratitude and the extraordinary potential available to you when you adopt a mindset of abundance exactly 100 percent the ancient people of America saw the buffalo as a symbol of abundance because the herds roamed far and wide. They provided so many gifts, the meat, the hide, the bones. The tribes who hunted buffalo used every single bit of them, wasting nothing. They were appreciative of the abundance. So too do you have many gifts available to you. Buffalo spirit appears to let you know that you are in a powerful time of manifesting your desires. Yes, you guys, I can't stipulate this enough. I feel it in the air. I feel it through my guides that everybody's capabilities are super magnified right now. So just start writing down exactly what you want and thinking exactly what you want, especially if you pull this group too. 
Whether it's love, money, inspiration, support, it's all there for you to claim. Whether you are grateful, you immediately, oh, when you are grateful, you immediately align yourself with the truth that is the world is rich and teeming with resources. There's always more than enough, and you're always enough. At this time, you can expect all your intentions and needs to come in the form of what's right for you. Your heartfelt gratitude is making you a magnet for miracles. Buffalo Spirit message is to remember that you co-create your reality in a partnership with Spirit. So offer up your thanks and your in your prayers even before you see conditions you desire. That's what I mean. It's starting to formulate. The universe can't necessarily do a, a fast track overnight priority to you, right? We realize this and we're grateful in the, the knowledge it's on its way, okay? Um, okay. Then you will quickly see the results in tangible ways. Gratitude has the magic to grow the good so offer thanks and praise and acknowledge all that you have and all that is possible yeah it simply just expands beyond what you can even imagine and i was watching landria annika today and i thought it was so crazy because she was discussing exactly this and i like to get a booster shot from her every day because she's so great now right when she said something i mentioned my phone or something and i looked down and her phone started ringing on her youtube channel and i thought it was my husband's phone and he had forgotten it and then she just started laughing and told the story about how her phone never ever rings unless she's doing a taping it's the weirdest thing but it was weird how I was thinking about phones I was so tuned into what she was saying and then when the phone rang it was such a weird coincidence and I was so jarred and I didn't know what was going on so the protection message as well back to this when buffalo spirit visits you with a message of protection he is asking you to shift your thinking from poverty consciousness to one where you are trusting the universe will provide have you been falling into financial insecurity worrying that there will not be enough money in the future have you been stressing and feeling sorry for yourself worrying that because you have you haven't had a romantic relationship now you will never have one do you see scarcity where there is in fact abundance are you comparing yourself to others and falling short self-pity entitlement fear and lack are all thought viruses I couldn't say this better I always think this and I knew this but I love that terminology thought viruses think of that as soon as you start thinking something bad about your body or anything in general about your life be like I don't need this thought virus what do we do with viruses right we we kill them that's it we get rid of them they're not useful yeah just shut it down the second it starts they seduce you into darkness and it's so true the buffalo spirit nudges you to make a gratitude list and be mindful of your thoughts at this time yes 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 i started that this morning another one like i start a new one every day when i reach some goal i'm so thankful for it and then i make a new goal it's it's so great i mean and then you just look at it and you have all your little um pieces of paper with check marks next to them and it's amazing you know what i mean um okay even if outer events have happened to challenge your beliefs in abundance, outer conditions are temporary. Again, that's something we always talk about, right? Everything is temporary. If you are suffering from the malaise of fear that you have, that you are impoverished or that the poverty perception is perspective, prayer, communication with your higher power and gratitude coupled with compassionate self-service will snap you right out of it. Yeah, I, and sometimes you can just turn on a nice... Um, like a nature film and that the beauty of that will recapture your spirit for sure then you remember the abundance is a true nature of the world okay and now we're going on to number three I remember I promised you we do the little finger numbers these are so beautiful oh, bobcat spirit it's lots of cats it's funny I was just watching a nature program and they had these great cats on there I think I've, yeah there we go bobcat spirit oh look at that life is a mystery look at that winter beautiful life is a mystery isn't it do you ever get up and you plan your day a certain way and you're certain it's going to go like that and it's like almost the opposite or completely berserk you couldn't have fathomed any of the stuff happened to you but you don't mind because it was so exciting and it, there was new things happening that's what i mean there's so so much mysterious new things that happen every day that instead of fighting it or being fear driven we should really embrace it and be excited okay so bobcat spirit says life is a mystery the message is, the bobcat moves fur furtively and mysteriously. When, when bobcat's spirit appears to you, she brings a powerful reminder that not all things in life can be explained or understood through the power of intellect. 100% right. There's so much stuff that happens out there that you're like, wow. 
Yeah, it defies explanation, and who cares? That's the cool thing about it. Trying to figure things out, finding logical explanations, or predict what will happen based on reasons and facts will not provide you with the certainty and comfort you seek. Bob Keck asks you to trust in the great mystery and let the secrets of the universe re reveal themselves to you through direct experience. Allow your vision to slip into soft focus, then you will see between the lines and observe what had been hidden there all along. You ever lose your car keys or something and you almost have hysterical blindness, you can be looking right at them, but you're so intent on finding them in a rush and a panic hurry that you can't even see them right in front of your face. That's exactly what soft focus is, just relaxing into it and letting things occur. So the Bobcat spirit helps you know intimately the pulse of the divine in the world. Trust in the wisdom of revelation that comes to you. Yet know the understanding may not come as you would like it to. What you experience through your heart and intuition, which comes to you as the voice of your inner knowing, will guide you now as you accept the secrecy that is woven into the fabric of existence. No matter what, the appearance of the bobcat spirit is a sign that you will be called to trust even when what is revealed does not agree with your need for intellectual certainty. Most things in the spiritual world are like that, correct? I mean, how else when we're always, do, all, all my clients are describing their numeric phenomenons that they see, these fluctuations in electricity, all the animals being cir encircled with butterflies, birds, all the crazy things that are happening. It's simply spiritual ener energetic occurrences. That's not something that's always logical for sure. So your protection message is Bobcat Spirit tells you this is not a time to reveal your deepest, most cherished dreams and desires to others, but rather to take time and be quiet and be gentle with yourself as truths begin to emerge in your awareness. This is very true, except, especially for you guys that are more awake and more um, into the esoteric because you can be in a group of people that are not spiritual on that level whatever so if you're trying to speak your truth they almost assume the role that you're kooky or freaky or gypsy or any of that so yeah especially if you have in-depth understanding of certain things and they have no idea what that is pick your um listeners and the people you're talking with you know spiritual people can talk about spiritual stuff all day whenever i go to psychic fairs i feel like i, c I could stay there for a year and never run out of things to talk about or listen to it's amazing Okay, so the protection is, Bobcat Spirit tells you this is not a time to reveal your deepest, most cherished dreams. Oh, I already just said that, sorry. I'm so spazzing. Self-protection is called for. Yeah, that's what it is. It's your, you, you want to protect your, um, your point of view, and it can be whatever you want. But if it's not trajected at the right audience, you can be made to feel like a little spooky or kooky. And that's that's what you want to avoid because the more spiritual some people are the crazier things they have seen but so what that's why you're allowed to your guides are showing you advanced copies of stuff and it's pretty friggin' cool because <laughs> i see crazy things i don't shout it to my neighbors who would be like say what girl <laughs> self-protection okay so you're being discerning selective and even secretive revealing no more than is necessary people have a way of imposing their opinions on you so pay attention to whom you surround yourself with at this time be watchful and check your own motives as well as those of others when you keep your secrets to yourself and now rather than expose them to those who may potentially misunderstand your intentions or may not be supportive exactly let your logical mind take a rest as you start to perceive the energy of your environment. The Bobcat Spirit wants you to be a stealthy and wise individual and keep to your own counsel. Let yourself be a mystery yet to be revealed. Oh, that is really beautiful. She is my Bobcat too. Yeah, sometimes we have to. I mean, we have so much insight and information at times, right, that people don't even deserve to hear it. If they're not receptive to it, this is beyond beautiful too. You guys ever see... um well, look at that brown bear spirit. I'm determined to get this nice. Take time out. Look at that. Love that. You guys ever see that movie? What's it, hon, What's that movie with Brad Pitt where he, he um, the bear and him wrestle at the end? I don't think he can hear me with his headphones on. It's not a river runs through it, but it's the other one. It's so great. But Brad Pitt is this lovely outdoorsy fellow with some brothers and. Uh, um, he, there's Indians on his, what's a movie? Legends yeah, Legends of the Fall. That's one of my favorite all-time movies. And he, they have Indians on their property because they're out west in the beginning. And they're beautiful, um, smart, logical people. And the, the one 
is recognizing that he has this crazy spirit and that his spirit animal is a bear and at the very end of the film he's actually in the woods with a bear and it's really beautiful i think the cat is creating a a non-focal okay we got it i just had to move over it can only concentrate on so many dots so okay so brown bear spirit is saying take time out the oracle message is there is time to act and a time to focus your attention on patient strategizing the arrival of the brown bear spirit signals that you are best served by foregoing hard work towards your goals at this moment and instead taking the time out to meditate or just take a nap so you can refresh yourself and begin planning what you want to next co-create. That was me. Ian's like, oh, I got the new equipment. Do you want to start? I said, listen, I want to be fresh and be available on my highest self when I do these reads because I've seen readers go on and they are just so pumped and they, they're they like exhausted and it makes me feel tired or it makes me feel misdirected. So I'll always try to be at my best for you guys and in the right headspace before I do any videos. You know what I mean? To just really be present and give you a good... Um, communication with what we're trying to do here so for sure yeah resting taking the time out to meditate refreshing yourself so come to know the lay of the land as you contemplate and imagine what you might do this in this vast space of possibility before you and begin forming a plan remember sleep allows for dreaming and rest allows for clear-headed strategizing how might you become the person you wish to be and experience whatever your heart desires? Insights will arise as you explore the possibilities and begin envisioning your plan. Knowing what you want will ensure you use your energy wisely in the days ahead. Be patient. At this time, relax and be calm and peaceful so you can recharge. The call for action will come later. Protection message is when you become so frazzled that you can't decide how to move forward. And I've had to catch myself doing that just like, yeah, so gung ho, but your, your energies are misdirected when you're in that mood, right? So our brown bear spirit arrives to remind you to let go of your impatience in getting to the answers and solving the problems that face you. Now is the time for rest and meditation. Take a break, let insights arise, and know that you have plenty of time to make your plans. That's beautiful because people do put a lot of um, time constraints on themselves. It's crazy. Time's not going anywhere. Just, you know, ease into it so you can be relaxed and everything. Brown bear spirit reminds you that sometimes the best of... And the most effective action is non-action. Allowing the situation around you to reveal itself can help you better understand it. Yeah, you ever feel like something had to be so quickly resolved, but you don't have all the, um, the increments in place to know what that is. That's why we just let it, we wear that information loosely and then it comes to us for sure. Remember that what is yours will never be withheld from you. So you really can relax and wait until the next right action is revealed. Miracles come out from out of nowhere and yours will arrive in the great spirit's timetable. That's so beautiful. Look at that. And the book is so beautiful. If you guys have to ever get one Oracle deck, this is amazing. It really is. My, like my heart sings when I read these because it's so beautiful and true, right? That's amazing. All right, you guys. So if everybody's cashing out and you haven't stayed through, remember to like and press subscribe if you're new. Subscribe because we've got a lot of fun things coming. And all my links are below if you guys need private reads. And I now have my Patreon page up if you guys want to take a look at that. So remember this. Remember the philosophies in this and how animals act, right? They don't ever act. You don't see a bear spazzing out and tripping over its own legs trying to get to places, right? It's having thoughtful contemplation. And look at the cat with her cat spirit card right here. Where's your cat spirit? She sees the end moving and she's going to run away. All right, you guys. Love and light. I'll talk soon. Oh, boo, boo.